hit your driver further by following these three simple steps. Okay, so we know driving distance is such a big factor in the modern game. And ultimately, if you can hit it further and maintaining a decent level of accuracy, then it's gonna improve your scores and it's gonna reduce that handicap. Okay, so I want you to try and implement these three elements that I feel is gonna give you a lot of speed or a lot more speed uh, than you currently have. Now, underpinning everything that we always do is we need to find the middle of the club face. Okay, so as we go through these stages, clearly if you're making changes and your strike pattern is all over the place, you're not gonna benefit. So rule number one, certainly we've got to find the middle of that club face, okay? So the first thing I would, would encourage you to do is, is think about the club speed, okay? So ultimately to generate you know, more distances, you need to create more, more club speed. And what I want you to think about is the hip turn on the backswing, okay? I see so many guys that when, when they sort of swing the golf club, the hips are very square. So it really limits how far you can swing back. It limits how far you can rotate your shoulders. As soon as we start to encourage more hip turn, okay? So you can see here that my right hip's moving behind me. The hips are now facing more towards the camera. It allows me to create a much bigger turn and ultimately, if I can create more turn, the club head is traveling further and it's gonna create more speed, okay? So, you know, allow that to move, create some separation here between your legs. You know, really allow that right hip to move back behind you, create that full shoulder turn and you can almost see that my back at the top of the back swing here is facing the target as opposed to here where you know it really restricts what you're going to do and it's probably going to lead to a bit of injury as well allow the hips to turn really freeze up that 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 shoulder turn and that movement of the club okay so that's point number one which i quite often teach that to a lot of senior golfers but ultimately it, it can apply to anyone okay so point number two i want you to think about creating more width in the swing okay so width basically to me is the distance between your sternum and your hands, okay? So as you swing the club back, I want you to maintain that width all the time. I see so many golfers start off in a good position and then they tend to collapse or even just collapse in a little bit. As soon as we reduce that distance between the sternum and the hands, we're losing a lot of power. So creating the width in our lever, in our arc, can really help you create more power and more club head speed. A simple drill that I often do is just the palm down drill. So palms down and then just keep them facing down and away from you as you swing back, okay? As soon as you're in here, it's very difficult to, to create that width. So really feel like you're pushing away. You might even feel it a little bit in the, uh, the sort of top of your back there in your shoulders, but really feel yourself pushing down and away and creating that width. You know, it's one thing we're seeing so many of the top golfers, you know, really creating some good width in the backswing and that can create some effortless power. And my final tip is, is really around, you know, how far this club head is traveling, okay? So we, now, we know by now that ultimately to create more distance, we have to create more club speed. And I want you to think about how far this club head is, is traveling. So we've got the nice big hip turn, we've got the width, it's now about, can we get this club head all the way back to, to, to essentially point at the target, okay? So from here, we're gonna swing all the way back, get that club head point, pointing at the target. And for a lot of golfers, you know, we, we talk about the turn, but also we can create that by just getting a bit more hinge in the wrist. So from here, if I was to allow the, the, the wrist to sort of hinge a lot more, you know, we, we can start to get that club head further back. back. So quite often some people sort of get into this position here and they might feel like they've got a good turn, but the club head hasn't gone all the way back. As soon as we hinge the wrist, we get that club going further back, we can create more speed. Hope that helps guys. Three super simple tips, increasing that hip turn, creating more width, and then getting that club further back, all in an effort to create more speed. But just remember, we have to find the middle of the club face first. 
As always, if you would like a more tailored approach, reach out on Skillist. There's a link in the description below for 25% off either an individual lesson or a monthly subscription. Thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you again very soon.